Hello, welcome to Thor Talk, the show all about Marvel's resident god of thunder, where I discuss Thor feats, battles, story arcs, villains, and more. On this episode of Thor Talk, I look at Thor's incredible speed, which reaches speeds that are billions of times the speed of light. All this and more on Thor Talk. I am Thor the Thunderer, son of Odin, prince of Asgard. I am an Avenger, and this world is under my protection. <laughs> Whoever holds this hammer, if it be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Before we begin, this episode was requested by Abdiraman Abdullahi, and I apologize for taking so long to make it. Now, when you think of speed, you probably don't think of Thor but he's actually quite fast. To start off with, his reflexes and reaction speeds are incredible. He is easily able to deflect bullets and has done so on multiple occasions. Uh, the average bullet travels at 1,700 miles per hour, which is more than two times the speed of sound, meaning that Thor can move at twice the speed of sound with no difficulty. Thor has also outspeeded Quicksilver, twice. On the second occasion, he managed to knock him off his feet and claimed to have fought much faster opponents. On the first occasion in Avengers number 98, Quicksilver and several other Avengers have been driven into a bloodlust by Ares, so Thor dug a massive trench around all of them before Quicksilver could stop him. Quicksilver can move faster than radio waves. Radio waves move at the speed of light. This means that Thor moves faster than Quicksilver who moves faster than the speed of light. Now back to Thor digging that trench. The trench is quite large, but we have a point of comparison. A car. The car resembles a first generation Chevrolet Monte Carlo, which came out two years before the comic was released, so the timeline fits. A Chevrolet Monte Carlo is a bit more than 17 feet long, and the trench is about seven of those cars in diameter which gives us the circumference, or the distance that Thor traveled, to be 373.85 feet. The speed of light moves one foot per nanosecond, and Thor moved 373 feet before Quicksilver, who is faster than light, could react. Let's say that Quicksilver managed to travel the length of the radius at the speed of light trying to get to Thor. The radius is 59.5 feet, and he would have gone that length in 59.5 nanoseconds if he was going at the speed of light. This means that Thor moved 373.85 feet in 59.5 nanoseconds, meaning that he was moving at 6.28 feet per nanosecond, which is 6.28 times the speed of light. And that's assuming that Quicksilver wasn't moving faster than light, which he can. In Thor number 337, Thor caught up to Scuttlebutt, which was moving several times the speed of light. By definition, several means more than two, so Thor was going more than three times the speed of light to catch up with the ship. In Thor number 428, Phoenix fires a telepathic bolt at Thor when he's dazed, but Thor quickly reacts and blasts the bolt when it's 75% of the way to him. Now, given that the bolt is telepathic, it would be reasonable to assume that the bolt moves at the speed of thought. The speed of thought moves at up to 270 miles per hour. That's not very fast considering what we've seen so far, but wait, this is the Marvel Universe. According to the super genius known as the leader, in the Marvel Universe, the speed of thought is nearly infinite. In this issue, the leader wants to send the Hulk to a planet so distant that the speed of light could not reach it in a lifetime but he uses the speed of thought and Hulk is transported there instantly. The speed of light moves 5,878.5 billion miles per year. Let's say that if you travel at the speed of light, you reach the planet in 100 years, which is a little bit more than a lifetime. This means that you will have traveled 588 trillion miles, and that means that Hulk traveled about 588 trillion miles in a second. That's more than 3 billion times the speed of light. Thor is able to move at more than 3 billion times the speed of light. 
Finally, we have the speed that Mjolnir can move at. Now, keep in mind that when Thor is flying, he usually uses Mjolnir, so theoretically this could be his flying speed as well, but that's just in theory. In Thor, whom the gods would destroy, Thor throws Mjolnir to the farthest reaches of the galaxy, and it returns in about a minute. The Milky Way is about 588 quadrillion miles. Earth is halfway between the edge and the center of the Milky Way, meaning that the farthest reaches of the galaxy from Earth would be 75% of the Milky Way, or 441 quadrillion miles. Mjolnir went twice that distance because it came back to Thor, leaving us at 882 quadrillion miles in one minute. The speed of light is about 11,176,920 miles per minute meaning that Mjolnir went about 78,912,448,320 times the speed of light. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Here again, I'm not a math expert, and many of these numbers had to be based on assumptions because I'm working with static images, but I tried to round down when I could. If you want to keep up with Thor Talk and all Thor-related news, Follow Thor Talk on Instagram at Thor Talk. You can also keep up with and support Thor Talk by simply subscribing. Once again, I'd like to formally state that all art and videos owned by its respected companies, and I own none of it. With that said, see you next time on Thor Talk, where. You'll be holding breathless wonder.